NASCAR drivers are not impressed with NASCAR's new short track package. After the first day of practice on Friday, where NASCAR gave teams an additional 50 minutes to test out this new short track package, drivers did not have any rave reviews for this new package. In fact, they reviewed it a lot like most people reviewed the Emoji movie or Jack and Jill or any Adam Sandler movie from like the late 2010 or early 2010s, rather. Kind of like The Room, if you've seen that with Charlie was so. That's about the same reviews that this package got. People were not happy about it at all. So NASCAR, of course, this year changed up the short track package because what we've seen with the next-gen car on short tracks has been absolutely abysmal so far. But they tried. So their solution after a test last November in Phoenix was to go with a simplified diffuser. And you can see the image right here on what the difference is. They took some of the strakes off. They reduced the size of it. The idea was to reduce the amount of dirty air from coming or coming out from behind the car so that the trailing car could follow closer in traffic through the corner. Doesn't seem like that worked out. They also went from a two inch spoiler to a three inch spoiler, which again, doesn't really seem like it's helped. Goodyear brought a tire with a thicker tread on it to create more tire fall off, a lot like what we saw at Martinsville in the fall last year, and it laid down a ton of rubber and it did have tire fall off. Unfortunately, it seems to hold a lot of heat, which is kind of different, which I guess we can expect with a thicker tread. The fall off, what we saw in practice, was around like a second over 30-ish laps or so. So there's some significant fall off there. But if cars can't pass, then it really doesn't do much of a difference. Drivers, like I said, were not happy afterwards. Tyler Reddick said, quote, the car felt exponentially worse in traffic than it did last year. That's not ideal for NASCAR. You don't want your drivers coming out and saying that. It gets worse, though. Chase Elliott said that he felt no difference in practice. He said if nobody had mentioned it, he wouldn't have even remembered that they changed anything. Not ideal, once again. Moving on to William Byron, he said he felt no difference with the new package, and he says that you could get within two or three car lengths of somebody, then he gets super tight and couldn't get any closer unless he had a two to three lap tire advantage. Just said he couldn't pass. It's bad news. Let's move on to the next one. Maybe we'll get a good review from Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin said he felt a little bit better. Okay, that's good. But otherwise, you couldn't tell a difference in the car compared to last year. Well, that's not as good as I think they were hoping for. Let's move on. Daniel Suarez, he's always a positive guy. Let's see what he has to say. Quote, the car is very bad in traffic, probably worse than before. All right. Um, move on to the next one, right? It's going to get better. Martin Trex Jr. He's a pretty level-headed guy. He said that the car felt um, terrible in traffic. God, okay. Well, so... Yeah, there weren't very many good reviews from it. I do understand the irony of me wearing a shirt that says support your local short track while talking about how bad the short track racing is in NASCAR right now. And hopefully, maybe, everybody talking about how bad it is might, you know, spurn NASCAR to take a bigger swing at it. And I understand. I completely understand NASCAR's point here, where they, they don't want to take a gigantic swing at this. And if that fails, then they just cost teams a lot of money by having to change a lot of things. I completely understand that. I think a lot of fans get wrapped up in the whole idea that they think NASCAR is not trying. They are trying, but at the same time, they have to be conscious of the budgets that these teams have. You can't just go out and be like, hey, we're getting rid of the diffusers. We're putting this entirely new diffuser on here. We're also changing the splitter. We're getting rid of the spoiler. And we want to do all these other things. And it's like, well... All right, hang on a second, because we've budgeted for a certain amount of money for this year, and now you want to change up half the car on us. So they have to make these incremental changes. And I know I've called them baby steps, even my steps at times, where I don't think that it's enough of a step forward. And this obviously wasn't enough of a step forward, but you also have to keep in mind that there's only so much you can do with Arrow. Like, sure, they could take the entire diffuser off and the spoiler off and just let these guys go out there and try to ice skate around. Is it going to be a good product? Eh, maybe. Maybe. Probably not, because I don't know if a lot of these guys can handle that. But at least they're trying something. Goodyear, of course, tried something as well. And Chase Elliott has some comments to say about the tires, too, where he's like, you as a, he's like, as a driver, I don't notice, notice any different in the tires. Like, unless it's something drastic. And it's like, okay, well, check that off the list of things that aren't working right now either. Of course, everybody's solution right now is to add more horsepower. And I'm in the ball. I'm in the camp of add more horsepower to everything. Give us all the horsepower. That's exactly what we want to see. It's just not a feasible option short term. NASCAR right now is looking for short term solutions and they don't want to talk about increasing horsepower, which is, I guess, their prerogative, which is unfortunate because I think that everybody has kind of, you know, begged them at this point to at least try it. Tyler Reddick said that the amount of horsepower needed to make a difference is substantial, like double almost of what they have now. It has to be over a thousand horsepower. At least give it a try. At least try out an 800 horsepower package or 900 horsepower package. Because right now, the current 670 just isn't getting it done. 
But this doesn't exactly instill a ton of confidence for people wanting to tune in on Sunday. I get the sport probably not wanting these guys to come out and say this, but at the same time, we're now in year three of this car being, like I said, abysmal on short tracks. And with this only being the fourth race of the year and the first, quote, short track of the year, even though I don't consider a mile track a short track, it does make it feel like it's going to be a long season for short tracks once again, which is highly unfortunate because it means like the next big change likely isn't coming until 2025. And I don't know if you guys know this, it's March and that's still nine months away. Well, in fact, it's 11 months away until 2025 season starts. So yeah, not ideal, but maybe, maybe it'll race better, right? We'll go into this with an open mind. So tune in on Sunday, Fox, 3.30 p.m. East Coast time. I'm going to be positive. I'm going into this with a positive mind. Let me know in the comments what you think about the driver's comments on the new package. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.